Today, we will have a brief introduction of GrowWatt three-phase energy storage system installation. The core parts of the whole system are SPH-10000TL3BH three-phase hybrid inverter and ARC-HV battery system. There are six models in SPH series, covering the AC power from 4 kW to 10 kW. The lithium battery we used in this video is Arc HV battery system. Arc battery uses the material of cobalt 3 lithium iron phosphate to guarantee its excellent safety. Offering flexible capacity options for customers, each battery module is 2.56 kWh, support 3 to 10 pieces in series, covering 7.68 kWh to 25.6 kWh. The whole system is easy installation with modular and stack design. Support remote firmware upgrade to save maintenance fee on site. Growatt SPH 4000 10000 TL3 BHUP model can support the UPS level transfer from on grid to off grid. It can also realize 100% three-phase imbalance output and smart phase level power control. In addition, it can do the AC coupled function to be compatible with third-party investors for the retrofit projects and the self-diagnostic function for installation checking. There are some connection terminals including battery connection terminals, PV connection terminals, PV switch, USB for monitoring devices, dry contact, AC grid connection port, UPS output connection port, emergency power supply, and communication terminals include CAN for GrowWatt lithium battery, DRMS only for Australia and New Zealand market, meter port for three-phase smart meter, NTC port for lead acid battery temperature sensor, RS-45-1 and RS-45-2 are used as the meter 2 for the application of AC coupled or Shine Master support for the application of multiple SPH in parallel. RS-45-3 is used for VPP application. And please follow the system diagram to do the whole system installation. Unpack the battery module package and there are some parts inside. Arc 2.5H A1 battery, power and communication cables, user manual and warranty card. The power interface of Arc 2.5H A1 battery link ports for multiple battery packs in series communication. The battery negative terminal and the positive terminal. Grounding connector. Unpack the HVC 60050A1 package and there are some parts inside. HVC 60050A1 module, battery management system, power cables, warranty card and user manual. The terminal interface of the BMS module HVC 60050A1. The power terminals to the HPH inverter. The PCS port to communicate with the SPH inverter. The link in and link out ports are reserved for multiple clusters of ARC battery in parallel. BMU port to communicate with upper ARC battery pack. Power terminals to the ARC battery pack. The LED light shows the state of charge of the battery system. The USB interface for quick firmware upgrade on site. The ARC battery base is used for floor installation. The customer needs to purchase an extra ARC 2.5 hour A1 cable accessory, which is used to connect from the ARC battery system to the SPH inverter. Put the battery base on the floor. ART battery pack on the base. Remember to remove the top cover of the battery pack. Then stack the second and the third arc battery pack. Install the safety part in the final arc battery pack and stack the battery pack to the whole system and fasten the safety part to the wall. Finally, stack the BMS module to the whole system 
and please don't remove the partial top cover of the power module. Remove the dustproof covers attached to the battery pack. Connect the ground cable between battery packs. Connect the positive and negative power cable in series between all the battery packs and the power modules. Connect the communication cable from the BMU port of the BMS module to the Link Zero port of the top of battery pack and connect all the battery packs one by one. Notice. Please remember to connect the single plug connector to link one port of the bottom battery pack. Power and communication cables from the hybrid inverter need to go through the rubber cover. Then connect the negative and positive power cable to the corresponding terminals. And connect the communication cable to the PCS port of the BMS module. Please remember to connect the ground cable made by the installer from the whole arc battery system to the earth point. Close off the mantle cover finally. If the installation site has the height limit, the customer could consider installing arc battery in two lines. An extra ARC 2.5 hour A1 series cable accessory is required. And follow the dynamic diagram to connect the ARC battery system. As demonstrated, you can see the whole ESS system, and now we start to power the whole system. Firstly, turn on the breaker between the grid and the inverter. Secondly, turn on the PV breaker and PV switch of the inverter. Finally, turn on the breaker of the BMS module and power on the battery system. Then the SOC indicator will flicker for a short time and keep always on finally. The whole energy storage system including SPH 10,000 TL3BH, Arc HV battery system, PV breaker, three-phase smart meter, the IC breaker between the inverter and the grid 